forget to contact you tomorrow. I am interested in finding out your cost for renting a 20 by 20 tent. Um, I got your number from Junior and she said I should let you know. <laughs> so when you get this message, you can when you when your business is open tomorrow, you can respond to me so that I can get some quotations on the renting of your tent. So enjoy the rest of your evening and I look forward to hearing from you. No video in no one. Auntie Mickey! Merciful! There's a couple in town. Are you just tell me check your bag? <coughs> we are Michaela. Michaela, no, Michaela. Michaela, no, Michaela. No, Michaela. Oh wow, brother. No, Michaela. Eh eh. Girl, blow my mind every time. No, you let me talk to myself because. Hey guys. Hold on. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, hey. Um, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I drop a new video. Um, if you're not new here, hey veterans, head to the back. So today has been a busy day. What did I say? Busy. Busy. Went to the, went to the airport, dropped my friend off. This is Brother Thierry. Shorten for Brother Thierry Masu. His ancestors are from Europe. Italy to be exact. But even with such a rich and popular history, Brother Thierry has never left Jamaica until today. Brother Thierry started his journey from Clarendon and excitedly traveled all the way to Kingston. His journey was a bumpy one, but he had no issues with it. He took in the sights and was pleased. Thierry could hardly contain his excitement. <laughs> he was especially excited about that piece of plane he just passed. Thierry was prepared for a long journey ahead. Yes, he suited up in his travel gear and was on his way to Anguilla. He said his final goodbyes and then he was out. <laughs> he had no issues at security, enjoyed the escalator ride, found his gate and strapped in tightly. Brother Terry was off to another country and he loved it. <laughs> in St. Martin, he located his luggage quickly then headed to his next mode of transportation, a boat. He was extremely exhausted, but he made it safely and even took in the beautiful sunset. Thanks for watching. I wonder what adventures Brother Terry will go on next. Stay tuned. Came back, had to go to the supermarket, get some stuff for the order that I have. And the order that I have is a wedding cake tasting box that everything in the box was not yet finished so currently it is now after five and I'm gonna bake the red velvet cake to go into the box because I got caught up with Kingston um, on top of this wedding cake tasting box I have another I have a fruit cake to deliver after the box is delivered and I am I'm so I am tired I am hungry I am crampy. I today's not a good day. It's not a good day, but what can I do? We have to move. So what I'm doing now as we tell you, the oven I preheat. So I'm about to uh, thank God it's just one flavor that is missing from out of the box. Boom bang canic and that done. So 
that's what I want to do now just to get that into the oven I am over the day Com completely over the day completely I have church tomorrow man I'm singing I'm leaving the choir I'm only tired so yeah we am going to flip up how the box actually look when it's done. So yeah. Alarm I go off. Okay, so for the red velvet, about to, I add, need to add my my milk into the butter, but the milk is super cold when baking. Not supposed to use cold ingredients everything's supposed to be at room temperature so because it's a rush job i'm in mean, really you know i normally put my cold ingredients give it a, a bit of give it a, a a buzz in the microwave to get it to a certain temperature before before um you know before yeah, so I if I'm working with for example me forgot to take out the milk like just look well um me forgot to take out the milk okay so when I forget to take out either the milk or the the egg and all other ingredients it honestly back honestly in bakery mess all other ingredient all other ingredients is at room temperature then what I do to get it to room temperature at a quicker rate is warm it up a bit for example for the milk just warm it up put it put a bit of like 15 seconds onto the milk so that it comes kind of not hot not warm but room temp you know and for the for the eggs what I do is get for example one bowl. I always use this. The smaller liquid measuring cup. Get that. Throw some water in it. Put that in the microwave, 15 or 20 seconds. Get that water. Not really hot. Not really warm. But kind of room temperature or kind of warm, but not really too warm. And then put the cold eggs into that so that when the cold egg goes into the warm water, you know, it kind of brings the temperature of the egg down to the water's temperature and then simple one two you have a room temperature egg in less than five minutes so yeah so what i'm about to do now is create make buttermilk so buttermilk is basically soured milk not sour milk curdled milk and you normally you can like in the southern cuisine you normally see them use buttermilk for like tenderize the chicken let me turn this around you normally see them use buttermilk in southern recipes to tenderize um whatever it is that the buttermilk is going to be used but for my baking purposes when you use buttermilk the buttermilk is an acidic it is basically more acidic so when you're using like baking soda whatever recipe you're using with baking soda when you pair the milk or the liquid with if the, the milk or liquid is acidic and the baking soda is in the ingredients then those two are going to react together and then that reaction cause the product to rise and to be airy and to be light and to be yummy so i always do that for my well for most of my recipes but especially for my red velvet because you know red velvet, red velvet needs to be nicer and light so almost 5 30 
let me go and get these into the oven. Isn't this the cutest little thing? How cute! Let me show you. How cute is this little whisker? So this is what I mean by the milk. When you use buttermilk, it is curdled but not sour. Sour when it gone bad. But with when you use buttermilk and when you make it yourself, you're basically just adding an acidic ingredient to the milk to get it to curl and by using that by using that into your recipe especially the recipe that has baking soda those two ingredients are going to react with each other giving that finished product a more airy and light finish so let me put you guys down to get more milk into my my thing So it's not really red I didn't put a lot of red in it but this goes to show I'm just doing this to show how light and airy it is the finished product very light very airy very spongy wasn't over beaten so buttermilk plus baking soda really works nice all right so box basically done so this is the box so you have all the cake flavors well red will be if you go on now so yeah fruit cake baileys vanilla red velvet lemon rum and raisin chocolate gizada you have vanilla buttercream as in filling, cream cheese, chunky pineapple, chunky pineapple, chunky strawberry, chunky cherry, chocolate ganache, um, and I think that's that. So I get this covered and then head out to my customer. Yeah, I'll see you soon. to seven time to go all right so I don't even know which one have more light yes I'm about to leave for the meet up with my customer uh, Millennium Mall what what's a Millennium Mall so that's how I made it Two deliveries. 
still no reach back at bakery, but up on the road, I decided to go buy one sandwich we eat so that we can have so that we can fill my belly before the session, the second session start tonight because we still have to hotspot even on. I still have to I have some cupcakes to bake tonight after I clean up the bakery eat something full back my belly and uh, yeah so it's gonna be a long it's gonna be a long day gonna be a long night as I say um personal life me I lead the choir tomorrow at church so me have to make sure I say whatever after that me I left Omega Kingston right after me sing um a friend of mine's baby christening so it's a whole lot and that that box of cupcakes that are travel with me tomorrow for the christening not really for the christening but for the mummy <laughs> so yeah so i think i'm going to end the vlog here thank you so much for tuning in i know it was all over the place you know it the, the, the footage they're all over the place hopefully they're not all over the place but they feel like they're all over the place so thank you for coming along thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next clip um if you have not yet don't forget to like comment leave a comment subscribe and turn on the notification so that you can be notified whenever i drop a new video um so yeah this day in my life was a busy one, was a hectic one. It left me, it left me suck out and drain out, tired, hungry, and exhausted. So see you in the next video, whatever that next video might be. And thank you for coming along. Later guys, bye.